before you can even say anything about it. He had it locked in and finished off. Mikhail Dufour is throwing everything and the kitchen sink, trying to get Maz Brunel out of there. I think he thinks he hurt Maz, and I didn't see Look the hurt. This. He's got that tight. Oh, 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 Mikhail Dufour, second round submission. What an incredible turn of events. And the pressure being put on by Dufour, trying to find ways to fire back. And here's the slick guillotine. He locks it on. He's got the legs tied up. And there's the tap. Very slick, not even anchored in and secured that guillotine. Two rounds banked. And then Elvin Espinoza did pull the comeback switch knee knockout against Adam Piccolotti. But right now, Bruno Miranda's got several steps in front of him before he can make something like Miranda that. Can choke and that right now, out there. And five points for Primus. Second round finish for the former Bellator champion. Trying to hand fight, snakes it in. He's got it locked in tight now. Squeezing with those hips, and there's the tie. They get seven submission victories as a pro for Brent Primus. Simone Bion has got 40 more seconds to try and keep this choke off, but that is tight. Very deep, but odd angle. Antonio Carlos Jr. saw to the angle a little bit. He yeah, got the tap out. Shoe face is back with a first round submission. A quick six for the 2021 PFL Light Heavyweight Champion. The difference you just players that know how to get that blade underneath the chin. That's how he got the submission. That's how we sunk in a rear and show. Nunez bind in. Gonna be difficult to get him off. Nice job. Excellent work. Oh, right into the triangle. Nice job into the triangle. Slapped around. Yeah, exactly. Letterman trying to twist his way out of it. Walk his own feet to the left. And there's Try the arm bar. Marcelo Nunez. Arm bar finish. Arm bar transition and a tap in the first round. Marcelo Nunez puts that black belt to good use again. Yeah. Nunez did exactly what he needed to do. Use that jujitsu, make those slick transitions from the triangle to the arm bar. Very, very nice job by Nunez. The wrestling, that was the way we mentally broke you. Yeah, exactly right when you right. thought you got up and take you right back down, you do all that work to get back to your feet, and now you're right back to the that's 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 a a She slapped on the rear naked yeah. choke quickly and squeezes it out yeah. for a six point finish. We may have one hook in. And she managed to secure the rear naked choke. Amazing. Before, before we can even say anything about it, she had it locked in and finished off. Successful PFL debut for Tyla Santos, her 20th pro victory. Fourth of those have come, fourth I should say, by submission. Before we can even say it, she had it locked in, but you can see her squeezing and breathing because you know she wanted that finish. She finds up trying to isolate an arm. Big slam from Hackett. Not out of trouble. Oh, that's the that was a long move. Jenna Bishop extends the arm bar. First round finish. We are Hackett picking up her opponent, Bishop hooking that leg. And sometimes it feels like the right thing to do to pick him up and slam him. And a lot of times it puts you in worse position and ultimately gave her the opportunity to find the angle on the arm bar right there. And there's the tap. This is good for Don Madge. He's now got a hook in. Rear naked choke on. Oh, he got one hook in, but he's got it tight. There's the tap. Don Madge with six point finish. Magic Man with the submission early. Don Madge is hyped up. <laughs> you can see Don Madge, he's taking him down. He gets the right hook in. Does a buzzer with the left hook, slides the right arm underneath the neck straight away, gets the figure four position, and then stays claps onto his opponent. All of the focus being on the arms. Even though Brennan Ward is trying to shake him off, there's nothing he can do. That's already locked in too tight. Easier said than done, of course. There's a reason why Murat has never tasted defeat in his mixed martial arts career. There's a rear naked choke. There it is. Here's a squeeze. But the short choke. He's got a strange on the angle. The a very strange angle. angle. Trying to peel that arm off the neck. See if he can get his back down to the mat flat. There's a tap. And a first round finish for Murat. Very, very impressive. You can see him doing everything he can to escape, but Ramazanov knew that he had that. You can see he's got the palms together, pulled over the back of Mariano's throw up on his shoulder. He's squeezing the life out of him right now. He knows he's got this choke. He's not holding back on his energy here. Really strong finish.